Alright uh, What's up guys It's Mohamed It's Shafiq here Or as known as Shocker And to, Right now I will Explain uh, One of the basics In computer programming Which is function Introduction to C language function Alright In C programming Function is a block of code Used to process a specific task It can be anything Like average Sum square root or anything else and there are two types of function typically combined in C which is predefined functions and user defined functions predefined functions is a collection of functions available in library functions available in library are like as printf scanf sine cosine and more it is used to process any math calculation, string or character manipulation, input or output, and more. Other names for predefined function are prepackaged function and standard function. On the other hand, user defined functions are new or custom functions written or made by user. It can be anything such as sum, average, or even variant of a data. To define it is to define specific tasks that may be used at many points or repeating tasks in a program. It's like uh, we repeat several functions in one time. Several functions. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another name for this function is programmer defined functions. The implementations of C functions is to develop and constant a large program by constructing constructing them from small pieces or modules more, it is more manageable than any original program and modules in C are usually called functions all right let's see the example of this uh, function right here uh, which is printing a row of number three seven and four here as we see there are three functions that are pretty much repeating again and again it's repeating three times like this one print f3 and then print f7 and 4 these functions are pretty much the same it's just the number is this is pretty much uh, using a lot of data yeah something like that you know all right here is the way of uh, summarizing it into a simple but a pack of informations kind of. all right here we can rewrite that program without the repetition just like before by using C function by doing this start with includes stdioh and then we replace it by void display Right here, we the display right here. Uh, we have display three, display seven, and display four by fr from this void display here, and then we put in another structure, which is void display integer value, and we take x here, and for here we put four x equals zero x less or equal than 6 and x increment uh, by using this method you never need to repeat a small function multiple times it's it's just like summarizing uh, several repeating functions into one uh, highly packed function uh, so here are predefined functions these are the functions that are available and do not need to reconstruct or anything else so right here we have stdioh it is used uh, for standard input output or output library functions and information used by them the, the functions are printf and scanf we have mesh math uh, h which is for library uh, math library functions uh, just like sine, cosine, square root, power, and more. String is more like uh, words. It is uh, string processing functions. 
STR Cop CTY, STR CMP is uh, literally for uh, something other than numbers, words, letters, or anything. STD LIB is uh, for conversions of numbers to text and text to numbers, memory allocation, random numbers, and other utility functions. Uh, some of the functions are ABS, FABS, and random. Uh, these are the examples. Th this is the example. <coughs> there are three library header here. Uh, STDIOH, MathH, and StringH. Uh, in here, there's no STDIOH because there's no print of F or scan F. But in case we might need them because this is pretty much the basics. Uh, for any function based on what I thought uh, for math h that this is for math library function and we have one here uh, volume 2 equals volume 1 multiply exponent and multiply by R multiply by K temperature this is the math fun function and we have string h which is str CPY name Nathan and down here STR LEN Nick. Alright, uh, user defined functions there are three of them, uh, the, which are function prototypes, function calls, and function definition. Uh, right now, for this three, uh, I will let one my friend Zarul to explain one of them, which is function prototype. Okay, next we go to the function prototype and thank you Shoker for telling us how the intro <coughs> telling us how the intro works for this programming. Uh, well I gonna introduce you all about function prototype. Uh, as you all can see, function prototype is a declaration that indicates the function is exist. Uh, in other than that, a function prototype will tell the compiler that there exists a function with this name defined somewhere in the program and therefore it can be used even though the function has not yet been defined at the point well a uh, function prototype need to be written as need to be written at the beginning of the program if the function receives some agreement the variable names for the agreement are not needed state only the data type so the compulsory format is a uh, written type first then uh, following by function name in a bracket, argument type or argument name. For argument name, is not compulsory because you can uh, you can refer to the function definition to write something uh, specific about what you given by what the given by the uh, function name. So, example uh, integer average. So bracket integer num1 integer num2 then close bracket uh, then semicolon so the next example is integer square root open bracket integer and integer close bracket and then semicolon well uh, for these two example you will see uh, two type of different example that given so for integer square root uh, it's still acceptable because uh, if you if you want to mention the average of uh, integer num1 and num integer num2 so it may be uh, officially you will describe it when it goes to function definition so this is the header of the function program before we gonna start uh, build our body and working method for function uh, definition so we will go next is function call so thank you I am Nordinia Tira. Let's we continue our topic. 
I want to explain about function call. Any function could utilize any other function definition that exists in a program. Hence, it is said to call the function. To call a function, it requires the function name followed by a list of extra parameters or argument, if any, enclosed in parentheses. If the function requires some argument to be passed along, then the arguments need to be list in the bracket according to the specific order. If the function returns a value, then the return value need to be assigned to a variable so that it can be stored. However, it is perfectly okay syntax-wise to just call the function without assigning it to any variable if we want to ignore the return value. We can, al we can also call a function inside another function, for example, printf bracket user input is %d get user input bracket semicolon. There are two ways to call a function call by value and call by reference. For call by value, in this method, only the copy of variable value, copy of actual parameters value, is passed to the function. Any modification to the past value inside the function will not affect the actual value. In all the examples that we have seen so far, this is the method that has been used. And then call by reference, in this method, the reference memory address of the variable is passed to the function. Any modification passed down to the variable inside the function will affect the actual value. To do this, we need to have knowledge about pointers and arrays, which will be discussed in chapter pointer. Function definition Function definition includes the body of a function. The form of function definition is return type, function name, argument type, argument name. In the end of this line, we don't have to put the semicolon. Open bracket, uh, we have to state the definition and the statement. Uh, close bracket. Uh, as an example, integer sum, integer number 1, integer number 2. This is what we call function definition. Uh, start our programming. Uh, open curly bracket. Uh, declare the integer at, then semicolon. Uh, create a formula x is equal to number 1 plus number 2 return x semicolon uh, close the curly bracket uh, this is what we call function body we have to note that argument name is used in the, in the function body then unlike function prototype argument name in function definition must be included in function header I am Nordini Atira. Next, we discuss about three aspects in each C function. There are function declaration or prototype. This informs compiler about the function name, function parameters, and written values data type. Second, function call. This calls the actual function. Third, function definition. This contains all the statements to be executed. Function definition and function declaration or prototype, they have the same syntax. For uh, the syntax is return underscore type function underscore name. For function call, the syntax is function underscore name. Function prototype in our program is float square bracket float x semicolon. For function call, in our program is scan f bracket quotient mark percent f comma address m semicolon and then for function definition is float square bracket float x i know elisha i would like to continue our discussion simple example program for c function as you know function should be declared and defined before calling in a c program in the below program, function square is called from main function. The value of m is passed as argument to the function square. This value is multiplied by itself in this function and multiply value p is written to main function from function square. The output in our program is Enter some number for finding square is 2. Square of the given number 2 is 4. 